What does a potato have to do with a toad? I don't know, Ava. Potatoes are brown and lumpy, so they kind of look like a toad. Yeah, better keep thinking. Potatoes are one of the most popular vegetables and are grown all over the world. Over a billion people on the planet eat at least one potato every day. And they are a superfood made of everything the body needs. So you could survive for a while by eating nothing but potatoes. They were even the first food to be grown in space. They must have called that plant Darth Tater. Huh, even chickens like them. Potato skins help keep our eggshells healthy and strong. I wonder what makes potatoes so appealing. Look, this potato's starting to spread a new plant. These little indents on the potato are called eyes, and each one of them can sprout a new plant. But they do make it hard to peel the skin off. Let's go see if we can find a potato plant. Good idea. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled. of the potato plant grow above ground to get energy from the sun, while the roots grow below the ground to collect food and water from the soil. The plant makes potatoes underground in order to store extra food and water in case they need it for later. The potato plant can use the water it has stored in its potatoes to keep it alive, in case the soil dries up. The Ojibwe word for water is nebe. Everything needs water to survive. This is one of the reasons why the Ojibwe people have so much respect for water. Water has the ability to give life, but it also has the power to take life away. This is one of the reasons that we have great respect for those female spirits that take care of our water on an everyday basis all over the world. Hey look, it's a toad. Looks like he's having a nice drink of water. Um, I don't think he's drinking, Ava. It looks like he's just sitting there. Toads are amphibians, and amphibians actually absorb water through their skin. Their skin has special areas that can absorb the water from their surroundings, like a sponge. Wow, so toads get their water by sitting in damp soil, like a potato plant. You're right, potato, that is the answer to our riddle. What does a potato have to do with a toad? They both need water to live, and they both soak it up from the damp soil around them. Challenge time! Try this. Put some food coloring into a glass of water, and then get a parent to help you cut the bottom of the celery stalk using a sharp knife. Let the celery stalk sit in a cup of water for a couple of days and see what happens. Check this out. The water goes up through the plant using something called capillary action. Okay, Ava, one last potato riddle. What's the difference between mashed potatoes and pea soup? I don't know. Anyone can mash a potato, but nobody can. For lots of other fun and games and riddles, visit, visit clearwaterkids.org. Challenge yourself to connect to nature and build a healthier world for yourself, for the earth, and for a potato.